heaps of broom normally, but you trevally and mangrove jack and flathead and all sorts of oh, wow. things. So. so it's kind of similar to the largemouth bass in America where they're, it's accessible to everybody. Everybody, everywhere. <clears throat> From the mouth to the, basically to the fresh water. Not so much this time of year than fresh, but through summer especially. And cracking topwater fish. Like if it was warmer here, uh, you just throw top water plastics if you want it. The really? Whole time. Yeah. There's probably not a pontoon or a wharf in this whole place that hasn't got a broom on the boat. Now, what kind of? I mean, is it like a? Is it, what's the retrieve on these? I mean, how are we fishing? It's slow. It's a slow. So yeah. you, Most are you of the letting time, it get all the way to the bottom and then? Depends on where they're sitting. Retrieve, be, depends what we're fishing. Say you're fishing a wharf like that. Yeah. No, like a pontoon. Most of the time, it's flick out, get it as close as you can to it, or up the up the middle of it, or something like that, and then just let it sink to the bottom slowly. Right. And they'll either eat it on the drop, and then just short hops and let it sink back to the bottom. Okay. The other thing with these brim too, if they're a bit standoffish, sometimes they'll follow it and follow it, and if you're moving slow, they won't commit. And then you take it away. And then you just burn it real fast for five or six winds and stop dead, and they're like, you're not getting away now. <laughs> now you're mine. Same deal here, just close as you can to the actual um, pontoon. Okay. Let it sink down. I think looks good, I'd eat it. Yeah, like a little <laughs> grubby, crabby. Actually, I fish it quite a bit at home. You do? I do, actually, yeah. I use it for a lot of different species. Yeah. Um, I use it for smallmouth bass. I use it a lot for uh, panfish, bluegill. Yep, um, yep. A lot of people in the U.S. now are using it for uh, rainbow trout and yeah, right. brown trout fishing in the rivers. And what was, I thought was interesting is that uh, a lot of people in uh, California now really love the crusties for throwing it in the surf. Yeah. Yeah. It's just a, a little, little sand. Yep. A little sand crab. Hmm. It's not something that gets a lot of media attention, but it's something that everybody it's does. Fun. You know, yeah, right. lots of people do it. Yep. Oh, eat it, eat it, eat it! I got gotcha. you. Yeah, nice. I did. I got gotcha. you. <laughs> I watched. He's you got come a mate too. Look at them all. See his mates? <laughs> there they are. I got you. There you go. <laughs> You're trying to come here, up. baby. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. that so that's is so probably cool. legal. <laughs> that is so cool. Come here, buddy. Come here. Come here, come meet your new American friend here. Oh, it's so cool, look at that little guy. So is this a classic brim right here? It's I'm holding? small. It's a small one? Yeah, it's, mm -hmm. it's probably close to legal size, but it is a small yeah. fish, yeah. Right. Yep. It's pretty though. Scrapper. They are a little <laughs> scrapper. They pull pretty hard for their size. All right, buddy, thank you very much. I enjoyed that. And that crusty's is good to go again. There we go. I think we found a couple. Seems a bit better. Yeah, that's a good one there. A little that's bad a one. nice one. Yeah, awesome. Look at um, that. I love it. Look at that. <laughs> that's a god now. Yeah. Oh, I don't know what he's been eating, but he stinks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, got one. Got him? Yep, nice. sure is. Two at a time. <laughs> uh, yeah. It's one thing with the brim, if you form one in these canals, there's generally a few there. Yeah. This guy's a little bit better. Yeah, a bit better than the first one. Oh yeah, a little bit. Come here, buddy. Not a bad way to start my trip to Australia, is I it? I reckon, <laughs> two at a time. First, um, first pontoon of the run, and we found a couple there. We not, certainly did. Not too bad a fish either, I'm the, on the bait fish profile. Yeah, and, and then yours, um, likes the little crusties. bug. Yes, yeah. crusties. Apparently they're on the feed, not too picky about it today, are they? Nah, I don't think so. <laughs> Let's get them back in and get another one, eh? That sounds great to me. We're just fishing this little um, two and a half inch Z-Man Slim Swim, fishing around the boats and pontoons there. It looks like a little, um, little bait fish profile. We find the bigger fish here tend to like um, tend to like eating bait fish and you've got every chance of not just catching bream, you can trevally, um, flathead as well. 
Um, being on a hidden weight, if you do happen to cast it into one of the pontoons, it's not going to make as much noise and spook the fish off too. That whole bait bar the hook is soft, so that also helps when they're sucking on that bait. They don't feel that lead head. It feels totally natural, so when it's sinking down there, they can suck on it and um, hopefully commit. Alrighty, with bright sun like this, we're going to try and put some casts in up behind the pontoon where there's a bit of shade. One, it stops our shadow being on the water and two, the fish feel a lot more comfy in that shade. So the idea is to get it up behind that pontoon where they're comfortable to still eat. Oh. <laughs> Here you go. That's him. Just had to leave it for a while. Look at his mate. Drop one down there, Glenn, see if you can catch him. cast up in behind that pontoon then and the fish actually bit it straight away but missed um, because it sunk so slowly and it didn't bomb and plummet past their face they're quite happy to come back out have another look and um, and commit to eating it. Halfway along so those ripples with his back out too. Up eating the slime on the edge. Yeah nice! <laughs> We're getting to get another one. Double it up baby come on double it up. Fish look at this. Nice. Ah, he's chunky. Not fighting. There he goes. Oh, double, double. Up. <laughs> nice. <laughs> God, look at the group following him yeah. around too. There's some good ones there too. <laughs> nice. Oh, hello. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sorry, did I upset you with something I said? I didn't mean to. <laughs> Wow, just the strength. That's a better one too. Yeah, he's a nice fish. That is a really good, good one. fish. That guy, he's chunky, very chunky, hey, buddy. I do have a net there. But cool. Look at that. Very cool. Good double hook up again. <laughs> Great the double hook up. Amazing. Nice. Absolutely amazing. Two different baits That's again sick. too. Just shows you that they're, they're what they feed on so versatile. You got that many options with plastics. You can throw anything from a crab to a grub that looks like a prawn or a little bait fish. Well, and like you said earlier, it really just comes down to presentation too. Yeah. Being able to control the presentation with this type of material, it yeah. makes a huge difference. Yeah, you can use a good head to be able to cast at a distance but still sink slowly. Absolutely. Nice. Yeah. Let's get yeah, back in the water. Nice, yeah.